From the trading desk of Daily Forex, this is Christopher Lewis looking at the upcoming uh, January uh, 10th trading session. I've got WTI in front of you, and you can see uh, we have broken below the 52 level. So if we can stay below there, I think we go to 50. This is a market that looks like it's going to struggle with the idea of oversupply. And why not? Because these... Um, these high uh, prices have attracted a lot of shale oil drillers in the United States and Canada. So I believe that short-term rallies are buying opportunities uh, on signs of exhaustion. I'll go ahead and continue doing that again and again. Nat gas markets are falling apart as well as the uh, market uh, looks uh, likely that the um, buyers will be short-lived at best. So ultimately, I think that this is a market that, uh, although we get a bounce, and we should because look at this gap, it hasn't been filled. We're, we could go to three first before we get it. So on a breakdown below the bottom of the range, I'm a seller, short term. On a bounce, I'm just going to kick back and wait for an exhaustive daily chart because yes, you could buy the bounce, but it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be... Um, very volatile to do so. So uh, I prefer uh, selling, which uh, the trend certainly has changed after this massive ga uh, gap lower. And as somebody who lives in one of the regions that uh, uses the most natural gas in the world, I can tell you now, warmer uh, temperatures certainly will cause oversupply yet again.